Hi everybody, Sam here. So I have a moment just to go ahead and show you how to do two easy things on Medicam that we may have to face at some point in our Medicam user lives. <laughs> the first one is how to un uninstall Medicam without losing all of your files and your settings. Uh, many people say that when you uninstall Medicam, you're going to lose everything that you have, and that is just not the case. It's a simple step you need to be aware of when uninstalling Medicam. The second one is how to transfer your files from one computer to the other. When you go ahead and get a second computer, computer or you replace your computer and you want to install Minicam on that new computer, you will have to reset all your presets and your settings. However, you do not need to go searching and downloading all of those files again from the cloud, from the Minicam cloud um, you or from Google, you can go ahead and just transfer your files. And I'm going to show you how to do both. The first one today we're going to talk about is how to uninstall Minicam without losing all of your files. Now, sometimes we do have to uninstall Minicam, whether Minicam has advised you to do so or after seeking the advice of your peers, it has been determined the best thing to do is to uninstall and reinstall for whatever situation you're experiencing. I'm just going to go into my computer and I'm going to click on um, add or remove programs. Very good. And here from this list, I just choose Minicam. Now I'm going to disappear because when you start to remove a program that you are using, it shuts down. So let me just type in Minicam and I'm gonna click on uninstall. Now I'm not afraid to do so right now because I know number one, I'm not gonna go through it all right now. <laughs> and number two, um, I am going to uh, be able to have those boxes that I'm talking about uh, securely selected correctly so I don't lose information. You get to this guide to uninstall Minicamp and this is where I'm going to stop. These are the important elements that you want to make sure are unchecked when uninstalling Minicam. And they say to remove Minicam settings, remove custom user effects, and remove licenses. If these boxes are checked, you will lose all of your settings, all of your Minicam files, and you will need to start over from scratch. Uh, including your licenses. You'll just need to reset with your license and sign in again and activate. If they are not checked, as you see here, nothing will happen. You'll literally remove the program from your computer. You may re-download the Minicam from the Minicam website, install it, and all of your effects and the majority of your settings will be there. You should not need to redo your presets either. So make sure that these three items are unchecked when uninstalling Minicam. All right, that takes you through number one. So let me go ahead and reopen Minicam so you can see me. And we are going to go into number two, which is transferring files from your computer to another computer when you either have um, replaced your computer with a gaming computer maybe, or you just want to use your second user license. And you do this simply through going into your folders and doing a quick search access for .mcv. Those are your Minicam files, okay? And here, this will bring up all your files. They may have saved to different locations on your computer. Generally, they end up in your download folder, but sometimes they automatically find their way into your effects folder. And here, you can go ahead and just highlight them, you know, like you highlight any folder, and you can drag them right on over to a flash drive. Once saved onto a flash drive, you can go ahead and install Minicam on your new computer, take your flash drive, insert it, and drag your files right onto the new computer. And there you have all of your effects there as well. I hope this was a helpful tutorial for you and relieves some stress on uninstalling your Minicam or purchasing a new computer for Minicam. Take care, thanks for watching.